Kyle and Yana, two studious youngsters enrolled in STAT 333, are excited for their favorite event of the year, FAS. They're also excited to see their STAT 333 professor act in it. They thought they would be free on Friday night to see The Late Show, but they ended up having to finish their STAT 333 assignment. Since the assignment was so hard, Kyle and Yana ended up walking, or rather, running, in late. So instead of coming in for the beginning of the show, they ended up coming in at the beginning of Act 2. However, they did not realize that the Friday Night Late Show is full of hecklers. Kyle and Yana just want to watch the show. So they will leave during an act that has heckling. And Kyle and Yana are also secretly wizards. So if they leave during an act, they will use their secret magic time traveling powers to go back to the previous act and try to watch again. Assume act or state zero is a state before the beginning of the play. If Kyle and Yana get all the way back to the beginning of the play, they will give up and go home. Diana would like to know what is the probability that she will get to see her favorite students in the audience at the end of the 12 act play if the probability of heckling in each act is 0.8. Here we have a classic gambler's ruin problem since Kyle and Yana can either go back one act in the event of heckling or forward one act if there is no heckling. Also they must reach act 12 before act 0 in order for Diana to see them when the curtain falls. In this problem, i equals 2, k equals 12, p equals 0.2, and q is 0.8. To find this probability, we use the gambler's ruin formula, which is 1 minus q over p to the i over 1 minus q over p to the k. Plugging in our values, we can see that it is very unlikely that Diana will see these studious youngsters at the end of the play. <coughs> now suppose, accurately, that fast is infinitely long and that Kyle and Yana have made it through Act 47. How long will it take, on average, until Kyle and Yana reach the beginning of the play? This is like a random walk from state 47 to state 0 with a barrier at state 0. But since we are moving toward the barrier, we can use the passage time formula k over q minus p, where k equals 47, p equals 0.2, and q is 0.8. Plugging in the values, we can see that Kyle and Yana should expect to sit through 78 and a third more acts before going home. Since FAST is awesome, this is great news.